I'm Erin J Doyle. Welcome to my channel. This video is going to be a bit of a writing update. I feel like I've done one of these quite recently, but oh, I've got some stuff to say. Mostly because I think I need to talk through some stuff that I'm kind of going back and forth on, so bear with me. There are two things in my Camino story that I keep wondering if I should take them out or leave them in. They'll be big deal stuff to take out because they're peppered throughout the story. They would leave big gaps, they are current sources of tension or character development, so it's not just a case of, oh no I don't like that, cut it out. But then there's, well, maybe the story would be better without them, kind of thoughts. One of these things is self-talk. I have my character thinking things and I have her thoughts in italics treated in much the way I would use dialogue. I've done this because for big sections of the story she's completely alone and it's a way of kind of breaking up sections which would otherwise be maybe either too much introspection or too much description by having the characters almost like her voice commenting on stuff except she's not actually vocalizing out loud like a crazy person whilst completely alone. The other thing that the self-talk was doing in the original draft was allowing us to see a slight difference between the character that exists, the actual person, and the front that she presented to the world. Her self-talk would be, you know, um, passionate and sweary or really opinionated or what have you, and then her actual reaction to a person and what they were doing might just be like, oh, okay. So at the beginning you saw that there was this massive difference between what she was thinking and what she was actually going to say. And she would be thinking about things and wanting to fight against things that were happening but taking no action. And as the story progressed, the self-talk reduced and the actual action taking increased until it got to the end of the story where there was almost no self-talk and she was actually vocalising these thoughts and taking actions. So it was a way of showing her growth. However, I am aware that most people are very very strongly opinionated when it comes to self-talk for a character and not just hate it but hate you as a person for daring to write it so that's something that I keep kind of getting a little bit nervous about. The other thing which I keep kind of dancing around back and forth with is whether or not I keep in the various discussions about GMOs. They're there because the character is a biologist because she is not now but originally she was very strongly based on me because her experience follows experiences that I have had and it made sense for the character to have certain things in common with me so that she would make the same decisions that I did so she would take the same journey. And something which was kind of not necessarily fundamental but that something that played a role in my experience of walking the Camino de Santiago both times as a biologist was having run-ins with other pilgrims who were extremely anti-science. I felt like the community on the pilgrimage was kind of skewed towards that anti-science mindset. So being on the Camino and being surrounded by all these people with incredibly incorrect ideas about certain things, which I'm a legitimate expert on, presented me with this difficulty of do I say something and potentially then face a barrage of at least verbal abuse? Or do I say something and have someone just be like, well, okay, we can't be friends anymore and they'll be by, quite sort of socially isolated and by myself a lot? Or do I just say nothing and let people bask in their ignorance? So I, I feel like this kind of shaped my experience of the Camino quite a bit. And so it's something that I gave to my character. At the beginning of the book, 
people are saying things which are very 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 wrong and that internal voice of hers is arguing and screaming like no no that's so wrong and dangerously so these are the facts and the character says nothing and then towards the end of the story she opens her mouth and says it so the self-talk and the gmo stuff are kind of related the fact that these two things are linked makes the decision to remove one or the other really difficult because if I take out one, maybe I have to take out both. I think leaving the scientific stuff in is interesting and potentially good because nobody else who is writing a Camino story is going to write the Camino story of a geneticist walking an ancient Catholic pilgrimage trail and having conversations with anti-science people along the way. That's a very unique story. But it's also not the point of the story. Something that particularly concerns me about having the scientific content in the story is that if my experience of walking the Camino has been that there are many very anti-science people on the trail, is it possible that these are also my target reader? Are people who are interested in the Camino, and therefore books about the Camino, also anti-science? Are they going to read a book about the Camino, discover actual science as written by a scientist, and completely rage out because it doesn't agree with their anti-science mumbo-jumbo opinions? So... It feels really risky to leave it in, even though it's so unique as a story point within a story of that type. Something I am currently trying to do is kind of tone down the specifics a little bit, and the scene where the main character basically cracks and has her massive, no, 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 actually these are the facts, you shut up and sit down and listen to exactly what I have to say because I'm an expert, you bastard, moment. Um, I've actually just deleted it entirely. Um, so instead of it being like a big, big thing within the story and the relationships that the character has, it's just something kind of vaguely peppered throughout the manuscript. And I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe that makes it pointless. I don't know if this has been coherent. I've had several interruptions now, I, d I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to stop trying. Let me know down in the comments what you think about both self-talk and the use of a potentially controversial to a certain group of readers possibly issue. Like is it worth keeping the sciencey stuff because it is legitimately accurate and interesting and different but could piss off some readers a lot. And yeah, I'd be really interested in getting some feedback on that because I'm really just going back and forth, back and forth on it. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and if you're new around here, maybe consider hitting subscribe and ringing that bell so you can stay up to date. Bye!